Leslie Vernon Short was born in Plains, Kansas, Meade County in 1921. His father was a veteran of the Great War, and as he watched events unfold around the globe, he could see the signs of another Great War to come. He encouraged his son to join the Navy because the conditions were better than the other branches. When the Prairie Boy went to Washington State and boarded a ferry, it was the largest boat he had ever seen until he stepped aboard the battleship USS Maryland. Leslie passed away in 1998 in Wichita. He donated much of his time to school groups, addressing students about the history and, most importantly, the context of that day. He used special effects, firecrackers, in a trash can, and just the right moment to get their attention. To illustrate the shock and surprise of the attack of December 7, 1941. Leslie shared these stories with Wichita Eagle reporter Bud Norman in 1991. He told Bud that, I want him to think about how it all came about. Why did the so-called civilizations go to such drastic means to solve their problems? We've still got the same things going on now. The world hasn't changed, end quote. Sadly, the words Leslie spoke 25 years ago ring true as the 75th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor is marked. In that remembrance, Leslie holds a special place of honor as the first American to shoot down a Japanese plane in defense of the naval base. Leslie was at his duty station in a gun tub. He was going to write a letter to a shipmate who was stateside. It was an ordinary morning until he realized the planes on the horizon were not Army, but Japanese. The personnel had been ordered to take cover and Leslie was halfway down the stairs when he turned and clambered back to his gun post. Torpedo planes were coming from the south. I couldn't see them, Leslie told the reporter, because of the superstructure of the USS Oklahoma. But when they turned belly up to swing left off the port bow, well, there a big old red meatball was showing. That's what we call torpedoes, meatballs. That's when I opened fire. When the ship's captain filed his report, Leslie was credited with distinguished conduct of personnel. Leslie received letters of commendation from the Secretary of War, the battleship fleet commander, and Admiral, Admiral Chester Nimitz. According to his friend Jerry Lee, Leslie served over 30 years of continual active duty, participating in two subsequent wars, Korea and Vietnam. He retired as a chief mineman in 1971. He was a member of the Air Capital Chapter of the Pearl Harbor Survivors Association in Wichita, Kansas, and was elected to four consecutive terms as chapter president. God bless his memory.